in the Roten Ecke, the red corner, from Wolverhampton, Great Britain, Mr. Andy Flute. Hello, good evening, and a big warm welcome to European Championship Boxing from the Kerhalle in Oberla in Vienna, Austria. Going to kick off with a middleweight contest between Andy Flute and Marcus Baird. All right, call it super middle, come light and heavy. There's Andy Flute, 18 wins, 10 losses, one draw. Nine of those wins via the knockout. Lost his last five, though, needs a change of form. But he's up against a very useful, unbeaten German in the shape of Marcus Bayer, who, of course, boxed for Germany in the Olympic Games. Got beaten in the quarterfinals. Marcus Bayer! So there's Marcus Bayer then, the German, as I say, unbeaten in two pro fights to date, and he stopped them both as well. Oh, the south for to boot, Marcus Bayer, nice and strong, well developed, and Andy Fleet will have to go some here, I would suggest, to have a chance with Bayer. Short, strong legs, good mover, fast hands, and not a bad puncher with both hands. left hook from Andy Foot, who comes from Wolverhampton. Foot, of course, a former British middleweight title challenger, fought Neville Brown back in 1994. Took him seven rounds, do, doing very well. Got beaten on cuts. And his last big title outing was a 12-round points off to Mark Delaney for the WBO Intercontinental crown. I do like the way that Bayer throws that left hand to the body. Just dips the knees and it goes in nice and straight. crowd cheering everything that Bayer does, although he's a German. What's in a name? Oh. It's a sensible match, I think, for uh, for Bayer and Jean Marcel Nartz, the matchmaker. Um, he's not really done him any favours. A bit of a step up in class as well, I'd say, for Bayer. See how well he handles it. So the end of it. Well, a pretty pretty level start for the first round there. Both men having their moments. Um, Andy Flew got through with a couple of nice looking punches. Not much in that one, but maybe Bayer just had the edge with his better accuracy. Keep to him, turn your body right and throw your right. That's Terry Tall. Good fighter on his day. Terry now, of course, uh, makes his living as a matchmaker in Britain. And he's seconding Andy Foot for this. Round two of a scheduled six. And 
both of Bayer's previous opponents were Americans. Eric Davis beaten in a six-round stoppage and Harold Roberts in two in his last fight in Austria. That's a nice sharp left hand from Bayer. Bayer has no trouble at all with fighters who leave with their left. Both men looking for an opening there, just waiting for the slightest error. And of course, Bayer has to get close. Nice left hand there from Bayer. He's got to get close because he's only got short arms. better around this for Bayer. Looks like he might have got flutes measure here. from flute and a clash of heads be careful well there's a cut on the left eye of Marcus Bayer now that may well have been caused caused by the right hand that flute landed or it might just have been the clash of heads shortly afterwards either way Marcus Bayer is cut on the left eyebrow Well, that's not a bad round for Bayer. Let's watch this again, see if we can see the replay of the cut and how it appeared. Well, it's already there, and that was another clash of heads. Well, I'm going to suggest it was the right hand from Flute that did that. It wasn't a bad punch either. Round three. Well, Flute, they're trying with the long right through the middle. And uh, they've treated Byers cut very well. It's not bleeding at all so far. And uh, if you're wondering what they use to treat cuts in boxing, the only thing permitted is adrenaline that's diluted to 1,000 parts of water for every part of adrenaline. It's, of course, a natural coagulant. And that's the only thing they can use. Another clash of heads there. And a bit of a clash of styles, this sounds poor against an orthodox fighter. Both, of course, intent on going forward. We're going to get that kind of clash. Well, 
That's a good body shot from Flute. But Bayer really is a solid little fighter. And again, the fair right from Flute. Don't forget, Bayer has never been the, the full route in his uh, only two fights to date. So coming towards the end then of round three. Another one for fire, I think. From round three. That's a lovely left hand from Andy Flute. So three gone, three to go. Round four, the halfway point. Marcus Bayer in those yellow trunks spattered with his own blood against Andy Flute from Wolverhampton. Flute, the pro since 1989. Flute hasn't won in five outings coming into this. And uh, really does need a change of form. He's not an easy man to fight. He's like a coiled spring. The moment you try and do something, he's got a reply. That's a nice right hook from Bayer. <laughs> and now Bayer has switched to a, a solid counter puncher's role. Just waiting for Flute to commit. Trying to draw his lead as well, of course. And that's nice, lovely body punch. And of course, moving exactly the right way against an orthodox fighter, unlike, I'm afraid, Andy Flute, who's going round to his right, which is a cardinal sin against the southpaw. Unless that southpaw carries a tremendous right hook, which you should always be able to really guard against. That's what happens when you move to your right against the southpaw. He cracks in the left hand. So the end of round four, and a good one for Bayer again. They've all been reasonably close, in fact, but the Bayer is taking them. And that's our main eventer coming tonight. Jelka Mavrovic in action against Julius Francis from Woolwich. Into round five. This is the penultimate session.
Well, looks like Bayer wants to up the pace a bit here in the fifth. Trying to get rid of Flute before the final bell. Tall in Flute's corner, urging him to pick up the pace and try and stay with Bayer here. Well, that's a great shot from Bayer. Beautiful uppercut. Of course, Flute was expecting the right jab. Well, I don't think Andy Flute landed a meaningful punch there in round five. So needless to say, it's another one for Bayer. And there's Julius Francis, just having a bit of a kip before the main event. Sixth and final round, though, of this middleweight contest between Marcus Bayer in the yellow and Andy Flute. It does look like Bayer is well on his way now to his third consecutive victory as a professional, but looks like he's going to have to travel the full route for the first time. So something of a moral victory for Flute, if nothing else. These uh, continental referees are incredibly pernickety. Just under two minutes to go in this final session. Andy Flutes picked up a nick underneath the right eye. See, once again, the referee getting very pernickety there. When I say break, you stop and take a step backwards. You know, it's all out of the amateur book, isn't it, really? Don't need it. Oh, 
Oh yes, don't forget, you've got to, you can't throw a punch until the referee dives in with a little clapping hand movement and says, box. Well, lovely left uppercut again from Bayer. Second time that one's got through. And, uh, you know, he's looking for a stoppage win here. Look, they're just a bit too solid for him, I think. There's the belt. Well, that looks like an all-the-way victory. For the German. declared a points winner. Stay with us for tonight's main event.